Sup guys, Hey King here, bringing you a review slash reaction to the latest One Piece chapter. Chapter 1050. So yeah, we're at 1050 now guys. Wow, like, wow, and the rooftop chapter started, the rooftop battle started at chapter 1000, right? So 50 chapters later, here we are. And I believe it's called Glory. So yeah, let me get it out. Let me get it out and we can start with it. So we, we, we finished last chapter with Luffy, but pretty much knocking Kaido down into the freaking ground, I think. And Onogashima landing down safely alongside Momonosuke. And it seemed the battle was over. But yeah, we're, cutting, we're starting with the new chapter now, 1050. Honor, as it's actually called, or maybe this is a mistranslation, and we got the cover page, which finally confirms confirms to us that yes, it was Ichiji and Raiju that arrived. So yeah, Jerma sixty six, called Blooded Voyage, Volume Twelve. Uh, Ichiji and Raiju arrive. So yeah, a lot of people were theorizing that uh, it was probably Crocodile or others, and me from the very get go, I was like, it's it's most likely these two who've come to rescue their siblings. But then the fact they hadn't shown them for a good few cover pages made me wonder, like, I mean, yeah, they did say, oh, it's, it's probably them, but there's always a question mark, do you know what I mean? So it made me wonder, what if it's not them and it's a twist and it ends up being some other characters that we haven't seen in ages? But no, no, it's it's the siblings. The, the, first, the first prediction I had all the way back then was the correct one. It's the siblings, they've come to rescue them. We see them blur kicking or blowing through walls, it seems. Uh, there's fire, uh, maybe poison. You've got Ichiji holding of the, uh, holding grabbing hold of the uh, little girl that likes to stab people constantly and ride, ride, ride you in the background and he's kicking some other dude away uh, and yeah we see one of the brothers being rescued as well so yeah uh, it, it seems all things uh, end well goes well I guess uh, and we move on to that to the uh, main chapter where we start with and by the way guys remember to like and subscribe please do and yeah, we see Kaido, and he's going down. He's going down for the freaking hole. Like he got knocked down into the ground, and he's still going down. And he and he transforms from his dragon form into his hybrid form into his normal form, and he's going down, sinking ever deeper. And we get this a uh, graph, this illustration that that's so weird because you got okay. So we got this mountain, and then we got the floor basically, and then we got the water. We got the water. We got the so mountain, the ground. And then the water, uh, waterfall, yeah, and then and then underneath uh, the ground, whatever, uh, or, or, or the uh, we got uh, it's so weird. We got like we got, we got the lake, we got the lake here. Where it's like there's like there's like one shallow one here, and a big long shallow one here, and there's like cracks, whatever, all connecting to the magma. And there's two holes that have been created. Hole, hole, the uh, one hole, hole made by Big Mom, and another hole made by Kaido. And they're both sort of like they're not next to each other. They're, they're sort of, they're sort of next to each other, but uh, and they're going down. They're going all the way down to the center of the uh, to the center of uh, of Mono, basically to the center of the cross, the earth, whatever you want to call it. They're going down into that. And at the same time, uh, and we see Kaido breaking through that hole and coming down into where, wherever that wherever that is. Like if it, if it's a freaking, ma I'm assuming it's mag magna. Like they're falling into the core, the into the core, the very ground of where Wano is stationed. And we see Luffy falling out of the sky. You've got Yamato rushing in, you know, Skull Dome on Ogashima. You've got Yamato running in to save him. Uh, and uh, we, we get this glimpse of Kaido and, and the right in the declared victor of the rooftop battle has been revised. And we'll see Yamato catching Luffy. He's knocked out, but, you know, just like his normal sort of calm, sleepy self, if you will. And Yamato just smiling. And there's Momonosuke just on the ground, knocked out, tongue sticking out. I thought this was Kaido at first, but no, this was Momonosuke. And yeah, he's just he's just knackered. He's he's tired. And then we're cutting back to the flower capital. You got the people, you know, playing, singing. The the you know, it, it's about to end. You know, up up and away. The lanterns are going up. And we we get this little panel, this big panel shot here of the flower capital in the distance on top of the mountain. And Onigoshima that's now landed with no one no skate next to it. And there is Yamato holding Luffy. You guys really are something. I can't believe it. And I can't believe it either. I can't believe. That after four years we've reached this point in the story, and after fifty bloody chapters since that rooftop battle started, since chapter one thousand, we are here at this moment, like this glorious, unexpected moment. It's insane. 
So, cutting to the festival, we got that samurai dude with, uh, I think the name was Toki, was it? Uh, Yasu's daughter? You know, up, up, on away, and hey, Tengu san, the Tengu guy, yeah. We never seen his face, have we? I don't know if he's ever taken his mask off. Um, I heard someone say that Daddy knew they would kill him because he used to be a really, really big deal. Oh, that's a shame. He's getting this sort of shock now that he realizes this, but that he decided to let himself get caught anyway. Why would he do that? And we cut this. So you, 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 Yabuzu allowed himself to get captured and killed. That's crazy, man. Maybe to make himself a martyr, which I guess sort of worked because it, it made everyone get up and, and go ahead with the plan, in it. Ibuzu Town's friendly resident oddball shall now make his grand final journey. And then we get a uh, Yasu Dona gave his life in order to give this country one last chance. So you got the Tangu the Tangu son explaining that to her. If he did not, the embers of hope we were entrusted with would have been snuffed out in an instant. He sacrificed himself for the future, and we're cutting we're cutting to a flashback with Yasu and his door, you know, and he's like, Toka, don't tell me you ate that fruit. Well then why don't I have a bite too? So we know, we know, we know, we, we, so we get this revelation that he took a bite out of the fruit as well. Uh, but, uh, we, but from what we understand, he was pretending to smile all the time so the others would be, you know, so they wouldn't suffer alone, essentially. So does that mean he, he was never pretending? I think he was, because I, uh, cause in the end of the day, the fruit, uh, once you've eaten the fruit, it only works for one person, right? So a, a fruit is one per person, it's not like... So it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have worked on him regardless. So it, you can't, he probably just did it as a way of, oh, I'm gonna eat it anyway, you know, get small. And if he did, if he did eat it, eat it anyway, it just meant, you know, if you guys are gonna suffer, I'm gonna suffer alongside you too, I guess. And uh, uh, you know, the guy's continuing to talk. He hoped that one day you would be able to live happily. So, it, so and Toko's like, she realizes. So it was for me. It's so creepy that she's smiling as she's being told this. Like, it's not a happy story. Do you know I mean? There's nothing she can do about it, sadly. Maybe Chop, I could find a cure. I don't know, but uh, so it was for me. That's right. Then let me change my message. So she ends up changing the message. How's this? And uh, the Tengu, the Tengu son's just like he's like I think he's crying. Like he's like wiping his eyes, maybe, and he's smiling. For a samurai, there is no greater honor. So we see the balloon now, and it's instead of saying I, thank, uh, I want to see you, Daddy, it now says it's been crossed out with I want to see you crossed out, and now it says thank you, Daddy. So Toka realizing the sacrifice and it's going up and they're smiling up, up and away. And we're cutting to Ong and Kashima. That sword's still stuck in the ground. Seriously, like, we're not going to see anyone pull that giant sword out? Like, come on. So we see we see Garfield approach, approach you know, coming out, uh, aka Nikogomushi, aka Cat Viper, and he's like, this, this sure takes me back. The Sky Lanterns from the Fire Festival. Now then. And he shouts out. And he's on top of the roof. He's on top of the roof and he's shouting out down into the hall that's been made. Everybody, listen up. There is no doubt about it now. Luffy drilled Kaido straight down into the ground. And we got Yamato as well, like, shouted from the background there as, 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 as you know, Nuka Mamushi is doing, he's announcing. And Momonosuke Sama used his gigantic dragon form to prevent Onigashima from crash landing. And he, and he turns to Yamato, I think he sees Yamato from, from all the way there where he's like, he's like, ain't that right? And he's like, you got it! <laughs> and everyone is, is like, that pink dragon was Momonosuke Sama? Seriously? I had no idea he had a fruit power. So everyone's just cheering, all the samurai inside the dodo are now cheering and celebrating. We've won! Yeah, we beat two emperors of the sea, I have never expected us to survive. And we cut to Dog, you know, Cat Viper and uh, uh, Dog Duke. It's been 20 years since this feud over Odin's regret began and now it's finally over and we're seeing all the reactions to the other samurai we're seeing uh, Kawai Watsu, we're seeing Raizo, we're seeing uh, I think uh, is, it, is, it, is it Danjiru and uh, Kon Kon Konomosaki-san in the background there we're cutting to Kid and uh, Killer we're seeing Beppo hugging like grabbing and hugging, like, hugging uh, a law from behind we're seeing Apu who's alive and is like straw hat took down Kaido like in surprise so obviously that's gonna play some important role there probably he's gonna sell the information or tell the world like uh, to maybe to news morgan we're seeing yami with uh, uh, what's her name taki there we've got her line there we've got zeus in the background we've got uh, marco just chilling by a veg like yeah it's done we're seeing the grandpa dude in one panel and the samurai there cheering we're seeing Usopp with uh, Kinemon and Kiku. And it's like, Jumper, these two are in bad shape. And then you've got Frankie coming with Zoro. Jumper, Zoro's not opening his eyes. And then you've got Chopper like, Dr. Chopper, we need you. And he's like, 
Thomas turning, like he's dealing with all of this. It's it's, it's stressful. And all he's turning, he's like Miyagi. There's too many casualties coming in, and you got Miyagi coming in. I'll lend you a hand, jumping in with the nurse rolling like a freaking uh, uh what is a crate of a uh, medicine as well at the same time. So yeah, it, it's just chaos, and you got Momonosuke lying there, and it seems he's talking. Yeah, he's talking to Zusha, uh, uh, Zunisha, and he's like, Zunisha, can you hear me? I have given it a lot of thought. And I have decided not to open our borders just yet. So, it seems that he's talked to Zunisha. And whatever Zunisha revealed to him has made Momonosuke, you know, go like, yo, I'm not opening these borders then. Like, not just yet. He wants to open it. He wants to open them. Not just yet. Because something has happened. Some revelation that we don't know of that's made him very nervous now. And uh, possibly he wants to find out what that is. That truth. Whatever he's been told... Uh, I think is going to lead to Momonosuke possibly leaving Wano, maybe. Like, he's going to leave Wano, like his dad did. But he's going to go on this journey to discover the truth, maybe. Or maybe he's going to send someone out. Um, because he's just gotten back. And, and Wano needs a new Shogun. And, uh, you know, Momonosuke is supposed to take over. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking what's going to happen is Momonosuke is going to stay. He's going to take over, but he's going to send Yamato in his place. To go out with Luffy's crew... And find out what his father found out and to come back or to confirm or whatever it is to come back and it's like okay we're gonna open Wano's borders now like or maybe this is something related to the final war and it's like we can't open the border because if they open the borders now the world government's gonna come in they're gonna swarm in they're gonna take over they're gonna steal the prison stone etc etc they can't open it now like there is a danger there like it could be a case of yeah the, the you know if Kaido gone as well now this is gonna be a big problem as well there's no emperor protecting Wano from the from the navy from the navy like they they, they will come in here like navy you, you know the marine, marines whatever will come in uh so yeah so Zushin is like very well I shall follow your lead I trust your judgment and Momonosuke's like thank you I'm sorry what was that earthquake what was that An earthquake so yeah something happened something's like rumbling uh, we're cut into Onigashima. You trash are getting ahead of yourselves. We still have greater numbers, didn't you? And you've got the beast pirates, the survivors, whatever, getting up, trying to cause a fight. So, yeah, they just shot some cannons. You shouldn't have let your guard down. Just give up. So, yeah, they're, they're shooting. They're shooting. They're causing trouble. There's no way Kaido's son actually lost. We're the crew of an emperor after all. And he's like, these guys. And Frankie with Brooke, like, he's getting ready to scrap. He's like, you want to scrap? I've got tons of fuel left in the tank. Not so fast, Frankie, son. You know, you've got Brooke trying to stop him from fighting. And then you got Yamato coming in. He's like, hold it, beast pirates. Your lives were already spared once. And he's like, young master, Yamato, we... Our general just stopped Onigashima from plumbing to the ground. And you're talking like you're... you're and they're like, you're talking like you're on their side. If you keep fighting after being saved by the enemy that beat you, I will personally grind you to dust myself. So, yeah. Yamato keeping the peace there. She's taking over... For Kaido, it seems like, yo, keep your bloody cool now. And there's rumblings going on. Whoa, huh? Was that an earthquake? What now? And it seems we, we're cutting to... We're cutting to Big Mom and Kaido. Both of them having now fallen into the magma on the ground magma pool. So these guys have just fallen in. And things are shaking. We're cutting to the Yuda prisoner mine in Wano. Uh, which is insane. I mean, I don't know why we're cutting here, but an earthquake... Uh, uh, Baba, uh, Baba Niku-san, there's unusual activity on the surface of the sea, and and I don't know, we're cutting to a panel of the sea, it's boiling it seems, so it's like, huh, what's going on, and, and it looks like the, an underground volcano, an un sorry, an underwater volcano appears to shoot out and erupt, decisive battle in the skies of Wano, Victor, Straw Hat Luffy, so I don't know what the hell this means, I don't know what this symbolizes, it could be a case that, uh, that Big Mom, and Kaido have just been shut out out of this because because uh, we do we do see the di di demograph of this and we do see that there are cracks that there are tunnels essentially connecting to the uh, from the from the lake connecting to the magma pool so it could, it could be a case of that Big Mom and Kaido have fallen in there they're burning up they're potentially dying and then there's a volcanic eruption that sends both of them flying out from that side from that end out of the lake potentially so I mean I'm looking at this panel here now. I can't make them out. I don't know if they were in, in there, if they are, but uh, most likely they've been shut out. And uh, and it's like, yeah, you got, you got the Beast Pirates just like, like, what the hell? Like, is an underwater volcano erupting? And Luffy just still chilling, sort of smiling a little bit, or at least forming a smile maybe, or just, just, just knocked out really, but he's calm. He looks like in a happy, calm way. And an explosion, the people from the Flower Capital see this. 
that came from Neyuda, no way, was it Onigashima, are Kaido and his minions up to something? And then we see Momonosuke flying towards the flower capital, worried that everything is under control and people are screaming and panicking, Kaido Saba, what's he doing here, this is our one day to be free. And you've got Momonosuke, and he does, he does look like Kaido, he does look like Kaido, but we know he's pink, so, you know, kind of crazy that people don't realise this. Do not be alarmed, I am not Kaido. In fact, that eruption was the final send-off for the Supreme Commander of the Beast Pirates. So yeah, I think this is a big confirmation that Kaido and Big Mom, you know, both of them for having fallen into the magma have just been shut out from, from the crevice and out into wherever that's going to go now, from wherever they're going to be shooting off into next. So yeah, those guys are definitely not dead. They're 100% going to come back. I'm calling it, like, Big Mom's arc is going to end in Elbaf, I'm assuming. Where Kaido's arc ends, I don't know. Maybe he's going to come back during celebrations for one last fight. Maybe. I don't know. But it looks like it's over. Like, it's actually done with, which is, like... What the hell? Like, I can't believe it. I can't, I can't. It's just so unexpected, but it's over. Kaido lost, <laughs> and it's pretty much confirmed. Luffy is the victor. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's over. It is over. And I could be very wrong here, but it looks like when, uh, when uh, Momonosuke comes there, and we see him in the air. We see these sort of dark shadow spots on on his head and back, like on the on the on the neck part, if you will. Like, uh, so I think these are the samurai, the surviving samurai, older samurai, if you will. And and when he says that the commander's just been blasted off, they all turn like what? And then poof! Oh, and Momonosuke transforms, and we see we see the samurai there, the survivors there. We've uh, uh, Komo Inosaki there in the center. He's like, wait, there's more of them. What? And Komo, Komo Rasaki sama is she a ghost? There was a funeral and everything, are we dreaming? So there she is, plain and simple, it's like, that beauty can't be faked. And you got Donjiro coming in, wait, boss, uh, Kishiro, where, where's your patted pandemore? So yeah, he's gotten rid of the pandemore, he's like, well, this is going to be a long story. And he's the one who announces it. First, allow me to present the new Shogun of Wano, the Winds of Change. So, and that's how the chapter ends, guys. So, Don, you know, Don Drew, I mean, it's Don, Don Drew, isn't it? Coming forward is like the new Shogun of Mono. But, so we don't see Momonosuke's form yet. So it looks like we're going to get that big reveal next chapter, it seems. But is this is this a clever trick by Oda to sort of set up Momonosuke as the Shogun? Was there a conversation off screen that we haven't seen yet? And is it going to be revealed that perhaps Komono, uh, Komorosaki is going to be the Shogun and Momonosuke is going to go off with Luffy to continue on, on his adventures perhaps? Or am I right and he's going to stay and he's going to send Yamato in his place perhaps? It's going to be interesting to see, but uh, the fact we don't see we don't see this chapter end basically with Momonosuke in his adult form fully revealed to end it on makes me wonder if this is sort of like a trick, like, don't, don't, like and especially since Donjuru is the one presenting him, do you know what I mean? It's not like any of the others, it's Donjuru, you know, Komorosaki's protector, so... I wonder if there's more going on here, but we'll have to wait and see, we'll have to wait till next chapter. It doesn't look like there's going to be a break, which is great. Great, no break, we're continuing on with this arc, we're continuing on with the end of this arc, it seems, so yeah. Kaido's done, he, he got blasted off, he fell into the magna, boom. And we only got one chapter of his backstory as quickly as we could, which is... That's disappointing. That's actually really disappointing if that's all we get of Kaido's backstory. Because I was hoping we would get the reveal of who his uh, lover was, who Yamato's mom was, and what his relationship was with... I mean, we did, we've seen plenty enough of, of his relationship with Yamato, to be honest, in her flashback. So if you put all that together, we can kind of get a good timeline idea of uh, Kaido's big, big backstory. Because it has been told in several different points with certain different characters. Do you know I mean, we've seen bits of it here and there. When, it's, when it came to other characters. So we, we got the gist of it pretty much. But uh, I feel like there's more there that we haven't seen. And I would have liked to have seen that. But uh, that might have been it actually. Which is very surprising. Uh, and unexpected. Because I didn't I didn't think that would happen. But um, yeah. Wow. You, <laughs> that's that's how it went. That's how it goes. That's It's over with. Or perhaps this is a trick and something else is going to happen. I mean, people keep theorizing that usually, uh, since this was sort of inspired by the uh, plays, like some uh, traditional Japanese plays, this usually goes for five acts. And so far, we've only been on act three. And act three usually ends in tragedy, but this didn't end in tragedy. So what's going on here? 
Uh, is there going to be a trick to this, or is Act 4 going to start, and we're going to get some tragedy there, and then, uh, uh, and they're going to be short, because usually Act 4 is meant to be the long one, I think, or Act 3 is the longest one, and then it ends in tragedy, and we get Act 4. I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's it's very confusing, but the point is, it didn't follow that sort of tradition that we thought it would follow, it didn't do that, it, it, it looks like it went for the traditional free act stru structure, do you know what I mean? But, uh, overall, I just can't believe that it's over, like, I can't believe we're here at this point, it's crazy, it's... It feels like a very special moment, I think, like this chapter, like uh, like reaching that number and, and seeing this, like seeing this is the conclusion, like yes, Kaido is done, he, he fell in and he got bowled and he got blasted off, boom, which is very symbolic as well since Oda died burning alive, so Kaido sort of got the same treatment, but he's mostly likely going to live and survive, but he's probably going to have burn injuries maybe, don't know, I mean he's a dragon, can he fend off the burns, don't know, and Big Mom. What is, what's going to happen with her? Did she maybe transfer some of her soul into the magma, maybe not to die? Don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, those two are definitely not over with. We're definitely going to see them again in the future. But for now, two emperors have just gotten their asses kicked. So, yeah. Yikes. It's going to be very interesting to see how this arc as a whole wraps up with its epilogue. And it's going to be interesting to see where we go. Because there's a lot of unanswered questions at the moment. There are, there are a lot of un unanswered questions. Um... Let me see if we can find someone, because someone did make a list uh, on a forum. Let's see if we can find that. Here we go. Unresolved plot points. Okay, so Onigashima Raid, we've got the earthquake and undersea eruption. We, we didn't really see them go. That ties in with Kaido and Big Mom's fate. The world government fleet is still there. That could be a case of why Momonosuke is not going to open the borders, perhaps. But uh, that seems to be a big... There seems to be something there off-screen that we didn't hear from the conversation. Something very important, so we're going to have to find that out. Uh, Zoro's Grim Reaper situation. Yeah, we didn't see what that was about. Like, what the hell was that about? Was that the last uh, CPO member? Or was that literally death coming for Zoro? Is that a foreshadowing, perhaps? Uh, Chopper saving Zoro, Kin, and Kiku. Yeah, we're going to have to see that. We're going to have to see where that's going. We're obviously going to see that. Uh, Wano regarding the uh, Void Sentry law, why is Wano isolated and Toki, the red polygraph location, we didn't find the other road polygraph, like where is that, uh, Onigashima's original name, I didn't even know if it had an original name, uh, why Momo's food is a failure, we never actually discovered that, why Momo's food, I mean it looks like it worked out very well, so what's going on there? Uh, some something that I don't even know what that is. Uh, uh anime no Habi Riki and Nida Kitsu. Don't know. Uh, Kokushi dolls in the castle in Flower Capital. Don't know what that's about. Uh, Tekuyama's. I don't know. Ten Ten Tengai Yama's identity. Is that the Tengu guy? Yeah. Uh, we don't know what his identity is. I mean, is this someone we know? Is this someone important? I mean, he has his face color. Maybe it's just a style. Don't know. Uh, Jibai welcome party. We're obviously gonna get that. Like, there's gonna be a party. Jibai's gonna be welcome. Boom! Welcome to the crew. Uh, a Wano law, no, law regarding the Kazuki, the Korozomi, the Shimamatu, the, the, the I, I don't know what that is. And then of course the fate of the warlords as a whole, you know, what happened to the warlords after the reverie, you know, where, where, where are the other warlords, what's going on? One person made an interesting theory that perhaps uh, the warlords like, uh, like uh, Mihawk and uh, Buggy would end up uh, maybe go uh, going to Shanks, and Shanks is going to take them in into his crew, perhaps. So that would be pretty cool, actually. Like, they escape there and they get to him. Or maybe other warlords are going to, like, team up, like, together. Like, uh, you know, Hancock as well. Because if she if the warlord system is demolished, and it is demolished, we know that, uh, what's going to happen with Hancock and, and the island of the women, of the, you know, of the, all the women there. So what's going on with there? And what's going on with uh, Wapple? You know, and his mom. Like we, we, we've got nothing regarding that character. So what's going on there? When are they gonna make the move? What, what are they about? Uh, you know, what kit stole from Big Mom? Plus, which sweet commander he fought? I don't know if that's important to know, but uh, we're really interested to see what he stole. Um, re you know, again, the reverie dealing with Sabo, Vivi, and what you know, I already just mentioned Warpo. So a lot of stuff going on there. The Rock Pirates. Uh, Big Mom Pirates, what's going on with them? You know, Big Mom just got defeated. What's what's going to happen to them? And like, are we going to see Katakuri again? What's going on? Like, uh, Gekko Moria, last time we saw him, he was with uh, Blackbeard. You know, he just discovered that Absalon had been killed. His ability stolen. So, you know, what's going on? What is Blackbeard after? Uh, SSG, etc. You know, Drake, X-Drake. What's going on with X-Drake? Uh, this one is interesting. Carabon. What happened to Carabon? Like, uh, he's, he knows that information about Poseidon, so... What's going on with that? Like he was, he was helping these guys in the prison, and then, and then he sort of disappeared. So what's going on? And then Shanks and the government on through. Yeah, like uh, Zawa consciousness. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of things, obviously, that weren't wrapped up in this in this arc so far. But it looks like since we're reaching the end of it, it looks like Oda 
is probably going to give us sort of this big Zao moment maybe where he's going to start sort of answering certain questions and wrapping certain things up because we need we need some answers now like we need answers we need them now the raid's done uh and I don't think we're going to get traditional celebration. We probably will, but uh, we'll also need to get answers. Like, huge mega answers straight off. So, yeah. Um, curious to see where this goes. Very curious. And, yeah. Uh, I'm curious who's going to join as well. Like, is Yamato going to join? Or is King going to join? Why would King join? Because he he believes in Joy Boy. So, if he finds out that Luffy's the one who defeated Kaido, maybe he's going to be, like, bending down on his, like, yo... You're Joy Boy. You're, you're the one who I've waited for. It wasn't Kaido. It was me. I, I, I waited for I'm the one that believed in you. Please let me join. I want to be your right-hand man. And Zoro and Sanji just be like, yo, dude, get out of here. Like, get out of here. You're not welcome here. Or, I don't know. That would be pretty cool, I think. Like, uh, if that was one of the main reasons that, that uh, we get we get uh, a member. But it's that. Like, that would be the biggest surprise and shock. But um, uh, it, it would be really funny if we get, like, a fanboy, like, a Joy Boy fanboy joining because he's like, yo, you're Joy Boy. Luffy's like, I'm not Joy Boy. Relax. It's like, you're Joy Boy. I don't care what anyone says. You're Joy Boy. And even Zushino, like, Joy Boy has returned uh, in terms of, you know, Luffy has that ability. He has Joy Boy's ability. He has his battle fruit. So it's like, yeah, in a way, he has returned. Uh, not spiritually, but physically, if that makes sense. Uh, but, yeah, overall, this was a pretty good, uh, a decent chapter. But, uh it's just getting me more hype for what's to come, like, in terms of, are we going to start getting some big answers now? Like, surely we are, right? Surely we are before we move on to the next big arc, which I'm assuming is going to be Elbaf. And then after that, God knows what's going to happen next. I mean, this took four years. This arc took four, four bloody years, okay? Like, I mean, holy crap, four years. Um, and I, I don't even know how many chapters that is. Like, this is longer than Dress Rosa, like, like... Let me see. Uh, when when did we start with Dress Rosa? I can't even I can't even tell when we when we started Dress Rosa because it's all it's all marked the new world. But what no, we started in volume nineteen for crime. Maybe it was even volume eighty nine. I think. But we we but yeah we got Wano volume nineteen and we're on like volume what one hundred and five. But yeah, this is crazy. Like holy crap! What a journey, man! What a journey! But we finally made it. Here we are. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, reaction review to this chapter. And, uh, yeah, remember, guys, as always, to like and subscribe. Please do. Uh, click the bell, share down below, comment if you want. And, yeah, as always, guys, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.